friends, it's Carolyn Zuck here with C Zuck Stitch, and today is Saturday, December 18th, 2021. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you are here spending part of your day or your evening with me. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're brand new, welcome. We're really glad that you're here. Uh, so this week has been very, very busy. It should have been a quieter week. It was not a quiet week at all. Um, I had final grades due. Um, I have graded everything. I've turned in all my final grades. I am officially on vacation now for the next two weeks, which I'm very excited about. Um, in addition to doing final grading and all of that, I also help out our medical school uh, in uh, helping them with their interviews. So I do interviews for medical school. So I had two days of that, which just takes a good chunk of time. Um, and then we were also hiring for a student worker for our office. And so I was involved in those interviews as well. So it turned out to be a very, very busy week. So I am thrilled that now everything is submitted. I am officially on break. I am taking next week off as vacation time. And then we get, because I work for a college, we get from Christmas Eve to New Year's Day just off, which is wonderful. Um, I've never worked at a job like that before. So I'm thrilled to have that time off. It is going to be busy time off. Um, today I am filming three videos, this regular floss tube update. I'm going to film a planning video and then I'm going to film my whip parade and my uh, goals for 2022. So that the whip parade and the goals for 2022 is one video. So that's three videos. And then this morning we've already had two Zoom calls. So our first one was our magazine monthly challenge, just our regular monthly Zoom call, which was super fun. And we just chatted and uh, stitched and uh, it was good to see everyone on that. And then I had the second uh, planning for 2022 Zoom call, which a lot of you joined us in on for that. So hopefully you got some good ideas if you were there. And if not, that's quite all right. I'll be uh, sharing some of the tips and tricks that I picked up and learned in my planning video, as well as telling you a little bit about my thoughts on planning and how I plan. Uh, so you can look forward to that. I will probably spread out uh, when they uh, upload to YouTube throughout the week so you don't get a whole lot of Carolyn all at once, right? <laughs> So the other thing that we did is last Sunday, Robin of Bird's Eye Stitches and I, as you know, we co-run the Magazine Monthly Challenge and we uh, did a Facebook Live on the Facebook group. So if you are not already a member, you can go over there and join. But we did a live explaining how we're going to do Bringo. Bringo is for the month of January. We did it last year. It was a big hit. We had so much fun with it. So we're doing it again. It's uh, where you have a bingo board, we give you prompts, you have to find projects that meet that prompt, and then each evening I call a number for the next day and you stitch one hour or 100 stitches the next day on that prompt, uh, For and then for 25 days we call a number, you stitch on it. Now you have, that's January 1 through 25, and then at the end of the month, you have five or six days, those last few days of January, to catch up if you need to catch up if you weren't able to stitch every single day, which is perfectly fine. And then we have prizes and drawings as well. So all that information is over on our Facebook group, Magazine Monthly Challenge, which is always linked be below uh, in the description box. So if you are interested in doing a fun uh, challenge that will maybe force you to take out uh, some of your whips and work on them during the month of January, please join us. It's super fun. I haven't had a chance to review comments yet uh, just because it was such a busy and hectic week uh, from last week's video. So I will get to that and let you know if there's any questions or anything like that uh, coming up. So I don't have any, uh, any questions or comments to share with you other than that. All right, let's get into the whips. I only worked on two whips this, uh, this week. First up is Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. Um, my goal originally on this for this year was to do the first two blocks. And then I realized I was almost done with this block and I realized I stitched it the wrong direction. So I ripped it all out and started over. I think I showed this last week too. So I'm stitching this on 32 count uh, vanilla latte by Be Stitch Me. And this is where I got, I can't quite remember where I was last time, but um, 
yes, there's a ghost, a Halloween <laughs> Me needle miner. It's just what I had handy. But I worked all in this area this week. Um, so I'm working on filling out all of these flowers. So basically I'll pick a color and I'll try to stitch it wherever it can, wherever it appears around here. And then I'll come back, pick another color and go around again. So I'm getting there. Um, it does feel like it's going a bit faster than it did last time. So that's nice. Uh, but I still have a ways to go on this. But I'm enjoying it. And it's the right orientation now. As I mentioned last week, I keep checking. And I think, I think I'm okay. Um, so yeah, so I, I feel good about um, having ripped it all out and started over on this block. So, so my goal for this on this year is to finish this block up and then I will just be a block behind, but that's no big deal. When I get to the point, it won't be in 2022. I don't even think it'll be in 2023. It might be in 2024 um, that I will be pushing for a finish on this. Uh, then I'll just make it up then. So that is Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. In my, of course, in my Garon bag. Uh, this was from last year, I think. So it's not available anymore, but they have other bags on their site, of course, if you're interested. So I worked on that piece. And then the piece that I actually spent the majority of my week working on is Kringles. So Kringles was a market release last year, I believe, 2020, yep. So this is Kringles by Little House Needleworks. Isn't that cute? It's like a department store. Um, my goal for this year was to finish that roof, just this roof. And I did. I finished the roof. I am thrilled. It took me a good amount of time. Um... I just have to silence my phone. Sorry about that. Okay, let's take a look here. So the roof is done. I finished it two nights ago, three nights ago maybe. Um, but it's all done now. I love how it turned out. It's a lot. It's quite a bit of stitching. This roof took me 40 hours to stitch. Uh, so it's quite a bit. But it's done. And I'm thrilled to have it done. Everything is in order, it all lines up. And then when I pull this out next year, I'll be able to kind of start getting into some of the more, well, the more fun stuff, right? Like, well, I mean the brick wall, but then like, I'll probably start over here with the inside scenes so we can start on the scenes. So I have switched my goal because this was <laughs> quite, quite stressful to, to finish this. I mean, I did it, which is great. It's a little stressful for me to, um, finish this uh you know originally I was thinking well one year I can finish this row then this row then the bottom and it's done right but I think that's a bit too stressful for me so I'm going back to doing just a number of hours and however much I get done in that amount of hours is how much I get done uh, I'm going to try that for this year you know it might come out it might show up on a Sunday spin so it'll get some extra time that way it might I might do it for a 24 hours cross stitch so I'll get some extra time that way but this is stitched on a pearl gray Belfast linen, 32 count. And I really like this fabric. It's quite smooth for a linen. Um, I, and it's just a good, it's not white, but it's not super gray moody either. So I'm really happy with it. And so there it is. There's a close up. I stitched two over two on this. So yeah, so that goal is done for this year, which I am thrilled about. And that's all I stitched on this week. Just those two pieces. Like I said, most of my time was spent working on Kringles to get that roof done, which I am glad I took the extra time to stitch on it this week to get that done. Um, I do have a lot of haul, though, to share with you. So first up, I got a beautiful card. Look at this. This is from Dawn, Frosty X Stitch on Floss Tube. So you can check her out there. Look how beautiful. I just love this scene. So much. This would be a beautiful cross stitch piece, actually. Um, so yes, and a, and a lovely note inside. So thank you so much, Dawn. I appreciate that. Um, I exchanged gifts early with a friend of mine, my friend Sam, who you've heard me talk about. Who the reason why you hear me talk about her so much? She's the one who actually encouraged me to start Flosstube almost three years ago now. So 
That's why you hear a lot about Sam so much. Um, and so we exchanged Christmas gifts. We did a Zoom call. She lives in Memphis. We did a Zoom call together. And I got some stitchy goodness from her for Christmas. I am very, very lucky. So these are my early Christmas presents from Sam. This is the Gold Collection Dimensions Kit. This was on my Amazon wish list, and she picked it up for me. It's these three vintage Christmas Village ornaments, it's called, but they kind of have that old-timey feel to them, which I love. Um, and it's a Dimensions Kit, so it comes with everything you need, which is great. And I just think this, these are just so pretty. So you have enough fabric, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it looks like it, to stitch all six of them. And enough floss to st stitch all six. So, very excited about that. And then on my one, two, three wish list, she found this. This is by RTO. Um, fairy tales live on the roofs. This piece, and I, I love this piece a lot. I think it's just super sweet. And this is another kit, comes with everything you need. So I got this one as well. And then she also got me, it's also on my wish list, uh, Mirabilia Christmas in London, which I love. And I don't know when I'll start it, but I love it. I love to have it in my stash. I think this is just gorgeous. So thank you so much for that, Sam. I appreciate it. Um, and then I'm totally enabled by people online this week for some reason. Um, Super, super enabled. So first up, somebody posted their finished piece of this. This is from the Nutmeg Company, which is in the UK. Uh, it's an Advent tree. I'm not sure exactly what makes it Advent. Like, I always think of Advent as, like, a thing with, like, pockets or doors. But it's called the Tall Advent Tree, and it's a kit. comes with everything you need. So it's uh, red and green Ada and the floss and, you know, some beads and stuff. Um, 14 count Ada, stranded cotton, beads, felt, plastic canvas, needles, chart, and full instructions. So this was sent over from the UK. I'm super excited to have it. I don't know when I'll start it, but I'm very, very excited. I used to do plastic canvas when I was little. Um, so that was kind of my entry into cross stitch, I guess. But I'm super excited to have this. I think this will be a great Christmas piece to, to set up, Christmas decoration to set up around the house. And then someone posted, and I'm sorry, I can't remember where all I saw these. Um, somebody posted something on Sue Hillis, about Sue Hillis. Maybe it was this piece. I can't remember what I saw or where I saw it. But this is from Sue Hillis Design, so I just went to her website and ordered America the Beautiful. So it's the whole map with this, the states, a little little uh, motif that describes the state and the state capital as well. I thought that would be fun to have. Is it the state capital? Yeah, it's the capital. And then I thought, well, I can't just stop there. I wanted to get one of each state I've lived in for a significant amount of time. So I got Nebraska, which is where I grew up. I grew up right there in Lincoln. And I got Oregon. I still need to get Pennsylvania and Illinois and maybe Wisconsin because I've lived in all of those states as well. And I just thought that would be a fun little, um, fun little um, collection to have somewhere of all the states I've lived in. So I got those from Sue Hillis Designs. Um, and then... Somebody in some floss tube, and I'm so sorry, I should have written it down. Some floss tube, they were showing these. Well, they showed this one. Who was showing this? If you know, let me know so I can give them credit. This is Praiseworthy Stitches. I ordered this from Silver Needle uh, in, in Oklahoma. Um, it's a drum. It's called Gingerbread Cottage Drum. And I am planning to do it not as a drum, but just as a piece like this. And I think it's super darling. I want to say, did Pam and Steph show this? So I, and I and I comes I came with came with comes with the buttons, and I just think it's really darling. So it, it can be a drum, but you can also just do it like this, which I will do. I think it's darling. And then I was on their site, 
and right right around the same place as that one was this winter at sugar hill which i've been eyeing for some time uh it says it's a winter wonderland and i think it's just darling i'm not sure if i'll do the words or not i might just drop that uh border down or just you know kind of rearrange the trees and that um accordingly and just leave the words off so i picked this up and then they make it so easy for you to just pick up oh that's cute that's cute um a little handwritten note so i have the petite treasure braid and some beads and it calls for krynek she called me and said we don't have the krynek but we can substitute the petite treasure braid is that okay i said yeah that's fine and i ordered it for both kits and she said you'll have enough i'm sending only one because you'll have enough to do both uh, with just one skein. So, awesome. So she helped me save some money there and then the beads. So, those are set. So I got that. And then I was on one of the stash unload places. But I think this is not really like a de-stash. I think this is just, uh, you know how sometimes businesses will um, post their things on stash unload. This is from the Kiwi House. Um which has a shop, the shop, check out our online retail shop at kiwihouse2, the number two, dot com. So I picked up this London place called New Snow. I just thought it was super pretty. Apparently I'm in a winter stitching mood. So I got that, and then along with that, she sent a little, sweet little goodie bag with some fun stuff inside. So... She sent along a pack of peppermint cheer tea, a mint that I can now eat since I've showed you, a little plastic bobbin, and then a couple of these stickers. I think I accidentally got two stickers, but I think that's super cute. Isn't that cute? So I got that. Again, that is Kiwi House, the Kiwi House. Okay, so that, and then, and then I got my Color and Cotton, my December uh, 2021 Fabric of the Month Club. This is called Tuscan. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's like a kind of olivey brown color. And I am going to cancel this for 2022 only because I have enough right now and I'm going to join some other groups. Uh, so that's, that's why I'm going to cancel it but you know color and cotton is wonderful fabric it's wonderful floss so can make room for somebody else to to join us so plans um i'm going to continue working on christmas at hawk run hollow and finish up square one if i have time i'm going to try to get in about nine hours of elegant pumpkins and that will probably take up the rest of the year honestly um so i will not be recording next week next saturday is christmas day uh, so very Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. Um, I will, my, my folks will be flying in on Christmas day and they will be staying with me for an entire week, which I'm so excited for. It has been, uh, I think 10 years since I last spent Christmas with them. So I'm very excited to have them here. I'm excited to host them in my new home. You know, they came out in July, so they've seen the house already and they've helped me a lot in July. Um, and so we'll do some projects around the house, but we'll also do some exploring around the neighborhood and that type of thing and just relaxing and enjoying each other's company. So I'm very, very excited about that. So I will not be filming next Saturday. The next time you see me, I'm going to try to film on January 1st, New Year's Day, which is the day they leave. Uh, but it's also my three year floss tube anniversary. So I will be, I will plan to film on that day. And so between now and then, Christmas at Hawkman Hollow, Elegant Pumpkins, maybe. And we'll see what happens. I'm working on kitting up my winter cottage haid, so I will probably start that at some point. Um, maybe that'll be a New Year's Eve start. But yeah, it should be. I'm just this week, I'm going to work on cleaning the house. It needs a good clean. I need to finish wrapping gifts. I need to go back to the UPS store and mail some stuff out. I still haven't mailed your winnings from October and I'm so sorry about that. I know you all are waiting for that. I just, this semester has just gotten completely away from me, but I plan to get them mailed out next week and 
yeah, it will be a busy week leading up to it, but um, it should be a wonderful visit with my folks. So that's all I have for you today. This is a very short one, but that's okay because I'll be filming two more videos for you coming up here in just a minute. And I will look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks on New Year's Day. So until then, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And I'm wishing you all good things for the new year. And um, I hope 2022 is a wonderful year for all of us. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye. One more piece of big haul that I forgot to, to show you. Um, I can't believe I forgot. It was sitting in a different spot, so I forgot to show it to you. My Chatelaine came in. I ordered Alpine Seasons Garden, and I wanted to show this to you because I ordered the kit. I ordered it without the Gloriana silks. I think I explained this last week, that there is a shortage on Gloriana silks, um, and she's several months behind. Um, and so I took a chance and I ordered the kit without the Gloriana silks and hoping to find them from various stores. This, this kit, I think only, uh, this chart only calls for like four or five of the Gloriana silks. So I thought, well, I can try to piece them together myself, but the kit comes up. This kit is all silk. So it's a bunch of MPIs. So she has them kitted in floss away bags for you. A bunch of, these are all MPI silks what makes it you know not the cheapest uh kit around right and then these are some karen water lilies i believe the water lilies yes water lily silk sorry the, the color isn't great um but i'm just kind of trying to show them to you really quickly this is the thread gatherer silk More. It's going to be so pretty. So you can kind of get an idea of all the colors. Alpine Seasons is one of those. Um, I don't have the chart with me, but um, there's this. And then this is, uh, then there's some Petite Treasure Grade in here as well. So that's all the threads, plus the Gloriana that I got, I think I showed last week from my LNS. And then a bunch of uh, beads and treasures comes with it. And you can see they included a beading needle and a stitching needle for you in there. I got some Nymo floss for the beads. And then I went with their called for fabric. I'm sure it says, I'll have to figure out what this is. I don't think it says anywhere on here. No, it doesn't say anywhere, but um, this is the fabric it will be on. So I'll probably press it and then I'll definitely put it on scroll rods. I'm thinking this might be a birthday start for next year. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to see. Um, but I have everything I need now to stitch it. So um, I'm very excited to start on this one. And I was excited to show you. I can't believe I forgot to, to show you the kit. So that came in the mail as well this week. Bye again. Bye.